guys welcome to beauty in everything today we came back with another video a banging banging confessions video as i was going through twitter i saw someone asking why people are scared of getting married this is what people said i'm gonna read the replies of what people really said about getting married why are they scared stay tuned as i read the comments this tweet said finding my soulmate just after i got married I don't care at him, no matter what. Girl, what? <laughs> so you think you find your soulmate after getting married? Oh, this is so complicated. Let's move on. Another user then said, everyday sex, you, ha, -ha I can't. What is the evidence? No, this is you. Who said married people get sex every day? Oh, I'm not married. I wouldn't know. Another user replied, Everybody I know who is married, but that only happens in the first few months. After that, it becomes rations. Worse, when both are working and they are kids. Then this other user said, Umfazi uyalungi so before you pay lobola bro. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. You know what that means, right? It means you must go to a Sangoma and claim her as yours. I'm not sure, allegedly. <laughs> I don't want you to come for me, guys. I'm not really sure about it, but that's what I know. That you go to a Sangoma to do some stuff so that she won't cheat on you as a man and she will remain faithful forever. Guys, this is lit. I never thought people would do such things to their women. But anyway, let's move on. Another user then said, having a husband that doesn't help you around the house, who doesn't have time for his family in fidelity, divorce. Mm. This is kind of hectic because nobody wants a man who won't help them doing chores in the house. This user then said, that he can change his mind whenever he wants or fall out of love for me in time. Ish. It's disgusting. It's bad, actually. It's very bad. And then this one said, nothing. We've been together 12 years prior to getting married last year, December. Nothing has changed except that government knows of our, our relationship via home affairs. That's it. Oh, okay. That's promising. This other user said, eventually realizing or discovering that she only married me for financial security or because marrying into my fam would up her social status, not because she loves me. Mm, this is sad. Then this user said, nothing to be frankly honest. I look forward to the marriage process with so much excitement and I can't wait to have one of the most successful marriages in history. Oh, go for it, boy. Another user said, having a husband who thinks being a man is all he needs to bring to the table. A man who believes in gender roles when it comes to house, ho house chores but expects us to go half-half on financial responsibilities. A man who believes that he shouldn't be held accountable because he is a man. Uh, we, we don't do that here. Another user then said that the relationship between my partner and I might change. As they say, your true self is revealed after marriage. This user said, having to cook for his family. I'm a horrible cook. <laughs> Why would you do that though? Especially since you say you, you bet at it. Just order. <laughs> I really think the person who replied to this is not born to an African family because we do not order. We have to cook. So go do your research and tell me what you think. Of a Makoti who orders food like the parents. Hey, you'll die. Hey, this user said failed marriage. Then dibe nguma buye kwendin. It's like um when your marriage fails and then they call you names that you're coming from. You are a returning soldier. That's what they call it. So it's oh my God. It's okay. I trust you. This user then said living with someone full time. It's too much for me. This user then said. One P for the rest of your life. I'm doing that, man. Long distance marriage kind of thing, ne? He goes to work in another country or province and comes home after three months. Three full months. Could never be me. This one user said that my spouse will change into something I don't like and I'll be split between suffering the devastation of a divorce or staying in a miserable marriage. This one user said, the fact that I have to sleep next to this very same person every day, I sometimes want to sleep diagonally on my bed. This one user said, 
when you reach that killing each other stage. This user said, being cheated on with a man or a younger woman and putting us in debt. Another user then said, having a loose wife. This user said, marrying someone who don't know how to stay married. Yo, I think that will be a pandemic itself. Nothing wrong with marriage, but living with someone who changes like weather. Yo, learn for your marriages. Gather strong bricks for strong foundation, which is understanding. This user said, marrying the wrong person marriage is vocational just can't pick a person and get married i still believe Hori, you need to be shown that person then another user said yes beg i used to be so scared of the idea of getting married because i grew up watching women giving up on their dreams after getting married but as i grew i realized that isn't what marriage is about it is actually about having someone who help you make them come true I think that's one of my fears also that she could literally wake up the next day and be like, nah, I want out. Maybe one of the reasons I'm not sure about relationship right now. This user then said, someone stealing your house right under your nose when you give them everything that they think they are clever and you are a fool. Another user then said, marrying the wrong person. This user said, nothing, been married for 8 years now with heart emojis, which means he is enjoying it. So, another user asked, Can I ask, how frequent are you having sex? Like, is that necessary? <laughs> this one said, Getting married to my best friend and only to be enemies later in the marriage. A divorce on an anxiety. This one user said, There's nothing to be scared of, guys. This year, we'll be celebrating our sixth year anniversary and we are still going strong. This one user said, That he can change his mind whenever he wants. Or fall out of love for me anytime this one user said that i will have to marry some other chick and not my current girlfriend that shit scares me af this one user said my friend said he has sex once every two weeks something about the way he said it made me say shira and putting myself through that this one user said loveless marriage infidelity toxic in-laws step parenting this user then said sharing everything and problem is your lobola and other men will chow here for free mm. <laughs> this user said saying i do <laughs> guys i don't know maybe this person is chasing cloud or but there's nothing wrong about saying i do like this user then said when i have to divorce him and take half of his assets that he worked hard for when you think about it, it should be reversed when you get divorced that's when you should get gifts my friends would be like, you hear what happened to Gary? His marriage fell apart. All right, let's go on his divorce registry <laughs> and pick him out some stuff. What does he need? Well, according to this, everything. She took everything from him. Another user then said, having a wife and kid who will wake me up in the dead of the night to kill snake. Ha, that shit scares me. <laughs> This one user then said, being married to someone that bases everything on feelings. So when we have bad days, he thinks the marriage is bad. For me, love is a choice, not a feeling. Butterflies won't be there for 30 years. This user then said, selfishness of one person forcing me to sign the paper that if ever it happens that nature throws another soul my way, no matter how much I bond connect with that person, I should just look away. This one user said, him realizing one day that he doesn't love me anymore. Oh, that is scary, my dear. I can tell. This one user then said, someone falling out of love with you, emotional or physical abuse, due to this leading to divorce. This one user then said, he will pass like my first husband. The vows till death do you apart becomes the reality. I don't wish that on anyone. I'm not saying I'm not going to die, but I just don't want to go through that again. This one user then said, staying in the marriage for the sake of the children, going home and everyone's mood just changes. Thank you so much guys for watching. Do you really think that in South Africa in the next 10 years, young people will get married because it seems like they are very scared of getting married? Please comment down below and tell us what scares you about getting married. Are you really scared or are you not scared or are you already married and it's doing well or it's going well for you? Please subscribe to our channel to see more of these videos. Subscribe, like, share and share it with everyone on Twitter, everywhere. Thank you.